Good morning, everybody. We're off and running again this morning. It's a beautiful Monday morning. We're headed to one of Charina's friends out on four lanes. She has a house for sale, and she's asked us to come by and take a look at it and, and uh, maybe give the opportunity to publish it on a video. So that's where we're headed right now, and so we'll have a lot more details with that once we get there. But then after that, we're headed out to the farm for a few minutes to see if the sand got delivered for this week's end of the week's work we're going to be doing so busy busy day but it's going to be an enjoyable day got a beautiful day it looks like we can get some rain this afternoon all right everybody we're here at the house we're going to take the time and uh, give you a video walk through what we have is a seven year old home on a 194 square meter lot the house was designed uh, by her husband her late husband who was an engineer so there is a lot of good qualities that's done in this house. So as you'll see as we go through, it is an up and down, three bedroom, three bath. It has uh, a, a maid or caretaker's quarters in the back as well that has its own private CR, as well as sleeping quarters. It has its own water well. Uh, it's on septic here. Everything is uh, up to date on the taxes and it has clear title. And it's in a, uh, residential area where the homeowner fees are 500 pesos a month and that is really really good for homeowner fees here so let us start we're going to start with a little bit on the outside in the front and then we'll move into the downstairs all right we're kind of entering into the front yard i guess you call it in the carport has wonderful security, good high fences. Uh, there is a, a, a video security system and we will show it uh, a little bit later, talk about it a little bit later. But it does have a two car carport. There's full walk around around the property. Uh, you can enter uh, on, the, on the house. Uh, of course, being the front of the house is the front door, but there is side door entries on both sides that allow uh, access to the uh, caretaker or maid's quarters as a private entrance. They don't have to come through the main part of the house. Uh, then there's also an entrance into a, a, a enclosed utility area in the back that can be access, access from there and then you can also access the kitchen from there as you'll see is when we go through the house. So as we go through the front here we'll talk a little bit about uh, what is what we have here in the front. All, uh, all the doors are beautiful hardwood doors. Uh, very, very solid, triple lock, uh, two deadbolt along with standard. So there's a lot of security went into the house. Uh, like I said, there is a, a, a home security system that's here that does video and like, and so we'll talk a little bit more about it as we come in. But as you enter into the main porch in the house, uh, the house is air conditioning room by room. There's split air and window units, depending on where you're at. This. Uh, it's all done by a split air conditioner here. Um, and as you can see over here, with an LG units. So good quality appliances was put in for the air conditioning. Beautiful living room and dining room. Lots of nice light comes through, uh, well windowed. All the windows have screens as well as security bars. Sliding patio door that goes out and allows you to entry, uh, like we talked about in the entryway coming through the main part of the front of the house. Uh, as you look here and going through the living room, dining room area, we'll turn here and come here and as you can see, come through the main door, and the house front door of the house, you have a great four year entryway. Uh, once again, uh, to the side here, we have uh, a CR that's uh, for downstairs here, it's just kind of a half bath CR, but it's a wonderful idea to use the space. It's underneath the staircase but it gives you a public bathroom with ha happen to go into the private master bathroom. Uh, we'll give a chance to see that. Right off of the main entrance of the house, the foyer, of course, is upstairs, takes you to the upstairs bedroom for the tour. But there's a master bath bedroom downstairs. Uh, has its own CR or bathroom. Very, very well laid out, very spacious. Uh, once again, it is on its own uh, central air unit. The house is tiled throughout floors, beautiful accents that's been done to the walls. Uh, Built-in uh, closet, cabinetry, uh, all hardwood cabinetry, 
very well laid out, lots of space. Uh, his and her both. Uh, once again, then there is a uh, attached CR for master CR bathroom. And as you can see, it has a full walk-in shower, lots of space, has a little vanity area there where you can do makeup or check how well you're dressed, tie your tie. Full CR. Uh, one of the things about this, it has a full enclosed shower. Uh, kind of takes away from the wet bathroom aspect of it. Uh, once again, it does have hot water shower as its own independent unit for shower. So you can have hot showers as well. From here, we're going to go, we'll go through the kitchen and the uh, uh, caretaker maids quarters in the back and the, and the laundry facility, uh, utility facilities that's out back. Very well laid out, very good use of the space. So. Uh, we'll go back to the main dining room. As you can see, have a wonderful family dining area. Plenty of room right off of the kitchen. And one of the things I like about it is they've used the barn door style. So you can have a good formal dining. You can shut off the kitchen. And you can also air condition here without trying to air condition the heated kitchen. So it's, it's a good use of space. It's a wonderful idea. Uh, use the barn door pocket door type. So, uh, an amazing kitchen, well laid out, very, very useful, very versatile. Lots of lighting, lots of cabinet space. Organizers in the in the cabinets to organize for storage. Just very, very well laid out. Um, the kitchen. <laughs> kitchen, double stainless steel sink. Uh, some, I think, some of the smaller appliances doesn't go with, but. Once again, very laid out. Good quality range hood, three burner, standard stove underneath, uh, gas. Um, plenty of room in the kitchen to still have that opportunity to do. And if you want the door open during family time, you, you, you can still be here and visiting with the guests and have that. Uh, once again, it leads out to the back. This is a very unique area. This is one, an area that I would see be put, putting together myself because it's very well laid out and a very good use of space. So you enter into what I would call the utility area of the home, which is the back area. And as I was saying earlier, you can come from both sides of the house and this has access externally without going through the main part of the house. So if you do have someone that is a caretaker or a maid or caregiver with you, they have their own CR, they have their own small quarters here, but there's entry doors on both sides, so they don't even have to come through the house. Uh, they have their own water well, fantastic water well for utilities. Uh, the same way they've used the space here, they've utilized this space, it's got great security, but yet you still have a plenty of space if you wanted to put in exercise equipment, a uh, great place to have for drying clothes. So you can see it's a large space, uh, great area if you want an exercise room, uh, having laundry, keep a bicycles in and out of the weather if you didn't want them out under the carport. So it just makes a great use of the space. Uh, Let's check this out. This is what we talked about, the internal and external exiting of the, of the home. You can come through here without going through the house. So that makes it very nice, easy access to the kitchen. Uh, you don't have to come through the main room to bring in any of your groceries. You can come right through here. What's nice is uh, there is a sliding glass door here with security parts. And so it's, it's a external exit, internal. So you can have patio chairs out here. You could, you know, extend. If you had a large gathering, you can open this up as well. You could set up a table and, and chairs. You could visit outside. You could have barbecue grill outside. Very easy access back and forth to the dining room and the kitchen. So the house is just very well laid out, uh, very thought out in, in a flow and movement and design. So we'll go upstairs now to the upstairs where the bedrooms are upstairs and we'll give you a chance to see those. One of the things I want to point out that here when you use air conditioning, there's a lot of what we call jealousy windows used. These are actually uh, a louvered window that swings up and down that have the screens uh, along with security bars so 
very, very well designed engineered windows. Uh, good glass, got good screens. That's one thing you can if you don't want to run air conditioning. These were all three, so you get 90% of the windows you can open up. Kind of like the Jealousy, these swing out instead of a sliding, so you get all the maximum airflow you can get, yet they seal up very nice to use for air conditioning. And every window is screened, and that is wonderful uh, having the screening here. So you can open up in these cool evenings like we have, yeah. cool mornings, don't have to even run the air conditioning. So we'll go upstairs now and get a chance to uh, show you the upstairs bedrooms. Say no window. Long window. Huge window. Okay. As you can see, they've used a lot of windows for a lot of nice natural lighting. Uh, there's a small balcony that goes out here to the front uh, here that will give you a chance to see the quality of workmanship that's done on the roofs. Uh, all done with heavy gauge metal. Uh, everything is just, I mean, there's screens on the, on, the, on the drains to help protect from trash going down in, you know, the leaves and all the stuff. Really nice, quiet area, quiet neighborhood. Do have the balcony here, it gives you an opportunity to see the front side of the house. nice about this this is this is this room has a window uh, what we call a window style air conditioner back in the US still has air conditioning would make a great office space uh, if you didn't need three bedrooms make a great office space and it is has a shared uh, CR or bathroom and we'll just go through this way and come around so that you can see but so they have beautifully large bathroom uh, very nice once again a full enclosed shower uh, they have electricity all set up here to have an, a um, hot water unit in it up here. So everything's there, everything's available to have. Everything's tile, um, very, very nicely laid out. Tile all the way to the ceiling completed. So no moisture is getting behind the tile. Then as you come through here, it comes right into another uh, bedroom. Once again, it has uh, the up and down unit here, it has a standard air conditioner, lots of nice closet space once again. As you can see, this room has a bed, so it gives you an idea, lots of nice room on the bed. Uh, I would say the bedrooms are 14 by 12 here. Once again, if you want to use up and down bedroom, this would be a perfect nice bedroom upstairs here. It's got a balcony porch. Uh, this gives you an opportunity to see the other area where it's at and we'll talk a little bit about the area of where we're at uh, but I wanted you to see the roofs this is every roof has positive water drainage good colored roofing as they call it here a good metal roofing on heavy gauge metal roofing drains are, are the guttering is all screened to help control and prevent things going down the drains into the waterway and the area we're in, and if you look across the street, they, well, we have the security. Yeah, we talked about the security, and we'll talk about that downstairs when we finish a little more. Have security cameras there. But right across the street is a new Robinsons going in. So the area, you're on the four lanes. You're right on the, the outskirts of the edge of Belonga. You have four lanes. You have the, the National Highway right there that runs to and from going to Manila or Clark. You're 35 minutes away from Subic Bay. You're 45 minutes away from Clark Angeles City. Uh, two and a half hours away from uh, Manila. So if you're a veteran, VA facilities are relatively close available. Plus we also have uh, contracts with hospitals in Clark. So you're real easy to get to. Then downtown, we have our brand new SNR that's not open. We, we, I believe it's gonna be open in the next few months. It's M. SM, oh, excuse yeah. me, SM. SM Mall, that's going to be open. So you're only five minutes away from the mall. You're going to be right next to a brand new Robinson. So 
the value of the real estate is going to hold and, and, and increase actually. Uh, this gives you an idea. You can look down and you can see along the side of the property how clean the property line is. Excellent built walls for security fence. Well, we're going to give you a quick right back run down on this property. Uh, once again, this property is sitting in a beautiful location. We talked about the new Robinson going in. Uh, we're close to S&M New Mall that's going to be opening up here in a few months. Hospitals are real close by, banking, everything here. Very easy access to the National Highway for travel. Uh, quiet neighborhood, not a lot of heavy traffic. Uh, as you can see, enjoying a very nice glass of cool water, enjoying the air conditioner. It's very quiet, as you can hear. This is everyday normal. Um, if you're interested in the property, uh, contact Trina. All of her information is in, in uh, down in the bottom, down there in the blog. So contact her. The uh, homeowners asking 8.5 million. Uh, get in touch with Trina. That price is negotiable on cash deal. Uh, so contact Trina. She'll put you in direct contact with the homeowner. Uh, you will deal with the homeowner directly. Uh, she has all of her paperwork. She has all of the clear titles. She has uh, all the property taxes. All that those type of paperwork available for you to see, along with the original. Uh, plot layout for the for the house where it's at here in the subdivision. So once again, I think you guys, you know, if anybody's looking for a home in an area that's going to maintain its value at least, if not grow with everything that is going on around with the new developments, this is a great piece of property to look at. Contact Trina and we'll put you in touch and, and go from there. Thank you guys for spending the morning with us here and uh, look forward to seeing you again soon. This is the access area we were talking about that comes on both sides of the house. This is on the uh, west side of the house here. And this comes back past the uh, sliding glass patio doors here. It goes into the main dining room and then the kitchen. And then this goes into that uh, enclosed utility room and uh, caretaker's place. So great access. Like I said, you could put you can put a couple chairs out here. You can have a barbecue grill out here. You could do anything you wanted in there, you know, to kind of expand your outdoor living space. But wonderful access to the back of the house without actually going through the house. Then this is the other side that gives you access uh, to the back made quarters uh, and that area. So both sides of the house has easement and entrances to the, to the house without going through the main portion of the house.